Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital. Now I'd like to talk about how to build a projected balance sheet. A projected balance sheet is designed to help an individual or a company understand exactly what it owns, what it owes, uh, and the, uh, the owner's value uh, within the company um, or business that it's built. In order to create a projected balance sheet, um, a company must focus on one specific date and time. Uh, most companies typically choose the end of the year or end of the month, or even on a quarterly basis uh, to, to analyze the projected balance sheet. Um, the first part of, of creating this balance sheet um, is to analyze all of the assets or everything that the company owns, all of the uh, balances within the, the cash accounts, all of the investments that it's made, um, including the property, plant, and equipment, any buildings that might be owned, uh, any land that, that resides within the company, um, or any machinery or, or equipment that's used to, to, to operate the company. Uh, the second part is, is calculating all the liabilities, which is all of the debt uh, that's owned from the business uh, to a small bank or whoever else may have uh, initiated a loan to the business, uh, as well as any bills that are still outstanding or, or still need to be paid. would all go in your liability section um, of the projected balance sheet. The third aspect, of course, is owner's equity. The owner's equity um, includes all of the contributed capital from the, uh, the shareholders or the owner of the business, um, plus any retained earnings uh, that have been kept over and reinvested in the company from, from the, the profit and loss statement minus any dividends uh, that have been paid out. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.